Hey, for coming out. We appreciate it. It's good to be back. Who's got the first question? Let's start with the champ, please. Sean, you know, you said quite a bit along the way that the result of that first fight between you two never really mattered. It hasn't held over you. But given some of the emotion this week, some of the exchanges this week, what does this fight mean to you now, and how important is it for you to get this win on Saturday? Yeah, I'm very calm going into this fight. You know, it's easy to be calm when you know you're going to knock someone the fuck out. And you said it. This is a big fight, and it's got that big fight feel. I mean, technically, there is one result. So given how big this is, you win on Saturday. Is there a need to do this a third time down the road to make sure that there's no question about the history of this series? I wouldn't mind knocking him out two times. <laughs> Fair enough. Cheeto, I'll ask you. You're the only man that's ever had your hand raised against him. I know there's some question about how the fight went down, et cetera. But how does that factor into this, knowing that you've been in there and been able to walk away with a victory? <laughs> Say that again? Yeah. Mentally, psychologically, how much does that first result factor into this fight knowing that you do have a win over Sean O'Malley oh man I'm ready to go I'm healthy I'm happy I've been doing everything I had the long road but I'm here and I'm gonna dig deep for that goal and last thing Cheeto I know it's tough for us to hear you tough for you to hear us just can you tell us what this would mean to you, man, 10 years in the UFC chasing this opportunity, you have become a superstar, the crowd is here for you. What would winning the title mean for you? This is life-changing opportunity. I worked so hard for this moment. It's been 10 years in the company and I've been loved every single second of my career and I'm glad I'm fighting for the UFC goal. I love to be here. Who's got the next question? Go ahead. Que question for Dustin Poirier. Straight ahead, Dustin. I don't think you can hear me. Uh, obviously, you're from Louisiana, but you call South Florida your home in camp. So I guess when they announced they were returning to Miami, how important was it for you specifically to be on this card to represent for South Florida? Yeah, this is my second home, man. I lived here for six years. Uh, it's a short flight across the Gulf, Louisiana to here. I'm representing Louisiana here, representing Florida here. Get ready, man. And obviously, for years, you were, you were the one, you know, you wanted your shot against these guys, and then eventually you got it, and then it's been, it's been main events and title fights for you from that point on. Benoit is in that same position now where he wants his shot against you. So what type of fight are you expecting from him when you do get ready for your five-round co-main event on Saturday? He's gritty, you know. He, he, I'm, I'm, it's going to be war. You know this guy has finished his last five opponents. I'm coming to finish him. He's going to do the same. It's going to be crazy. Just, just enjoy the show. A similar question for Benoit. Obviously, this is your first round fight, and you're fighting a guy like Dustin who's fought in like the best lightweights that have ever been there. So I'm curious, what are you expecting from Dustin in there on Saturday? Yeah, it's a huge honor for me to fight Dustin Poirier on this card. It's in my home soil for him. Uh, I prepare hard to give him the, the, the biggest battle we can have. And uh, the better fighter will win, and it will happen Saturday night. It will be a bloody war. Where's the first song, Yudong? Up here. Earlier, earlier this week, you declared yourself the best boxer in the bantamweight division. Piotr said at media day, like, let's see who is the best boxer when he does face off with you. So I'm curious, what do you expect from Piotr in there? Do you think he will stand in there with you and just box? Uh, 啊,比德言說他是最好的,你說你是最好的拳擊手,然後比德言也說他是最好的拳擊手,你覺得這場比賽會兩人一直打戰力嗎? Uh, he's a great fighter, you know, I'm uh, so honored to fight with him. And uh, he's a top level former champion, but you know, everything can happen in the fight. I'm ready to knock him out. How about you? What do you think, Peter? Hey guys, 
In Saturday, I show him who is best boxer. I seven old in boxing. I have a lot of fights in boxing. I smash this guy. You know. Thank you so much. Question for sure. This Shorto. different level. Question for Sean O'Malley. Yesterday, Sean, you asked the media to ask Cheeto what you DM'd him. He didn't tell us. He did say it was weird, but he didn't tell us. Can you clear it up? What exactly have you guys been messaging about? Hey, that's up to him to tell you. I might tweet it later. I don't know. If he doesn't want to tell you, he doesn't got to. I might tweet it later. We'll see. Right. Question for MVP. Michael, you're here in the big leagues. Massive press conference. I see you enjoying the energy. What is it like to finally reach the UFC and be here at one of these sort of days? You know what? All I can say right now is, wow, the passion in here is crazy. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that back to you. Don't worry, Saturday night, I'm going to bring that back to you. But I just want to say, UFC has a new MVP. For you, Kevin, obviously, we've all seen the highlights. We've seen the knockouts that MVP can do. But how do you think his wins over those Bellator guys rank against the guys you fought in the UFC? Uh, you know. They know, we all know <laughs> what the difference is. Ask the boss what the difference is. Shit, it's the reason why y'all pay for UFC fights and not Bellator fights, right? I thought so. My first question is for Gilbert Burns. Uh, Gilbert, I guess, first off, what does it mean to hear, to hear that ovation today after uh, last time you were here, the crowd was a little more split, but pretty firmly behind you today. What was it like to hear that ovation when you walked out today? I love it. I love it. We're going to put on a show Saturday night. We're going to put on a show. Make sure you get your ticket. Show up. It's going to be an amazing card. And Miami is going to be one of the official homes from the UFC. And you have a tough rising star in Jack Della Maddalena in front of you. Have you been impressed with what he's done so far in the UFC? For sure, he's tough. He beat my guy, Kevin Holland, it was a good fight. This guy's tough. And uh, we're gonna put on a show Saturday night. I like the guy, I respect the guy. Very, very tough. It's gonna be a good fight. And for Jack, on the flip side of that coin, um, walking into hostile territory, is this something that is, you're gonna have to block out on Saturday, or does that come easy to you? Yeah, I appreciate it, you know, and I look forward to stealing all these fans uh, on Saturday night. And for you, uh, Gilbert's always been at the top of this division, right in line for a title shot for the last couple years. So for you, what kind of statement would you make with a win over him, do you think? Yeah, big statement, you know, cruise right into the top five and bounce. Question for Dana. Dana, the turnout in Miami here is always amazing. I mentioned this to you a while ago, but I'm going to ask you now, is there an opportunity that the UFC returns here for UFC 305? I'm literally standing here watching this is one of the most electric press conferences of all time. So Saturday night, $13.75 million gate. We broke our record from last time, the highest gate ever in the arena history. Miami, you are awesome. Thank you. Question for Sean O'Malley. It's a rare occasion where you're not unanimously the fan favorite. How do you deal with that? And is that extra motivation for Saturday night? Cheeto's a fucking pinata. Peter Yan's one fight away from bare knuckle boxing, and Marab's nose more crooked than Joe Biden. Let's fucking go, baby! Pregunta para Chito Vera. Tienes el apoyo de toda la comunidad hispana. Sientes la presión de los de Ecuador y la comunidad hispana para hacer historia este fin de semana. Más que presión es puro amor. El amor se siente, el apoyo se siente. Y Ecuador va a tener su primer campeón mundial. There's no pressure. I'm ready on Saturday to become the world champion. Vamos, 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 vamos. 
Enseñémosle a este payaso quién va a ganar. Háganle saber. La barra brava. Durino. Durino. É, um casamento entre um veterano como você, com um upcomer como o Madalena, está buscando o seu espaço na organização, é um casamento que agrada muitos fãs. Uh, mas, por vezes, a gente viu que o, o veterano, às vezes, não gosta, não aceita muito esse tipo de duelo. Foi difícil para você aceitar? Ou você esperava um atleta com uma posição no ranking parecida com a sua? Você é um veterano e você está vindo e está enfrentando um cara que está vindo. E, muitas vezes, os veteranos não gostam dessa posição. Você está bem com essa luta? Sim, com certeza. Responde. Português, português. É, luta muito dura. Eu, eu, pô, pra mim foi fácil de aceitar. Eu tô vindo de derrota, eu tenho que pegar uma vitória pra ir pro cinturão, então vai ser fácil, vou, vou pra ganhar essa luta aí. Me ofereceram, me deram o um nome, eu falei que sim. It's a tough fight, you know, it wasn't a hard decision at all to accept this fight. I'm coming off a loss, so I need a win to get to the belt. So, as soon as he offered it to me, I said yes. Ao longo da semana, você falou que aprendeu que precisa escutar o seu corpo. Ano passado, a gente viu que você fez três lutas em cinco meses. Me fala, me explica melhor uma coisa. Como você pode garantir, até para os fãs, que você vai escutar o seu corpo, que não vai cometer esse tipo de erro? E eu já te pergunto, é possível que você lute no UFC Rio esse ano? You said during this week that you need to listen to your body. You know, we saw you last year having three fights in five months. And you said that you, you need to take some time, but I'll ask you right now, is it possible to see you in UFC Rio? Yeah, if everything goes good on Saturday, Dana gave me a good opponent. If everything goes good, yeah, we think about Rio, but the main focus is going to be Jack Madalena Saturday night. Go ahead. John Bernard with KO Sports. This one's for Sean. Sean, Cheeto said his game plan is to go straight for your legs. What are your thoughts on his game plan and are you prepared for his leg kicks to avoid what happened in the first fight? I'm gonna just kick him in the lips, baby. He can kick my legs all he wants, but my, my legs are gonna be on his fucking chin, so. Another one for Cheeto. Cheeto, we've saw what's happened throughout the week. He's called you out in the hotel. He's sending you DMs. What are your thoughts on that? And do you think he's playing mind games to throw you off your fight? Everything is mental in life. I'm prepared, I'm ready, I'm feeling good. And honestly, it's how you handle it. The rest, fuck the noise. And last one for Dana. This is one of the most stacked cards of the year. Was it difficult to put on a show for UFC 300 with such a stack 298 and 299? I mean, that's this year. When you look at how this year played out, I love the card in Anaheim, too. This is a great card. We got 300. We got International Fight Week, and then we got the Spear. And then when you see the stuff that we have lined up for the end of this year, too, I know we say this every year, but this might be the baddest year ever in, in, in the history of the company. So here we go. It's all good. Hola. Go ahead, sir. Chito. En representación de toda América Latina, Sean O'Malley ha pasado diciendo que tú le ganaste por suerte, que fue suerte y solamente suerte. ¿Qué va a pasar luego de cuatro años en esta pelea? Y escucha a toda la gente que dice chito, chito, chito. No solo gente de Ecuador, sino gente de toda América Latina que cree que el nuevo campeón de la 135 está acá. ¿Qué le dices a la gente? La suerte me sonríe. La suerte me sonríe y me seguirá sonriendo por mi trabajo, el, por mi trabajo fuerte, por las ganas que le meto y por todo lo que he hecho durante todos los años. Madre. Nunca me he rendido y lo que diga este pendejo, pues, no importa. Chito, te entrevisté hace 10 años, exactamente en tu debut en el UFC 180, en tu pelea contra Marcos Beltrán. Fue un debut impresionante, llorabas. 10 años después. Hoy tiene la oportunidad de ser el campeón mundial por primera vez un ecuatoriano. ¿Qué le dices a las nuevas generaciones, a la gente que está buscando un sueño? El camino es largo y para muchos a veces es un poco más difícil que para otros. Pero si no te detienes vas a llegar a lograr esa meta. Y el secreto de todo es no parar, seguir hacia adelante y, y buscar tus sueños. The first question. It's been four years since your first fight with Sean. He's been saying that it's, it was pure luck. What do you have to say about that? Chido says, you know, luck is as you created, you created with a lot of hard work, you created in the gym, and let's have some luck again.
Go ahead. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, Jack Enríquez de Ecuador también. Mi pregunta para Marlon Chito Vera. El día de ayer, eh, Sean O'Malley dijo que va a finalizar la pelea, que te va a dormir, pero parece que no recuerda que a ti nadie nunca te ha sometido ni te ha noqueado. ¿Qué le dices a eso? Pues mi trabajo es inalcanzable, es lo que me ha traído acá, la ética de trabajo, mis ganas y mis sueños por ser campeón mundial. Lo que O'Malley diga, pues, son solo palabras y no opinión. Yo estoy preparado para todo y el día sábado, si tengo que sangrar, voy a sangrar, pero voy a ser campeón mundial. I came here to be the UFC ahora, world champion. I también. prepared for everything, so I'm going to be the world champion on Saturday. Ahora también tienes al lado a Sonia Don, que el día de ayer dijo que también estaba harto de decir que tú ganaste la pelea y que le dicen a él este tema. ¿Aceptarías un Yadon Vera 2? Sonia Don tiene que enfocarse en su oponente y yo en el mío. Por ahora, Sonia Don lo único que puede hacer es anhelar algo. Que no jode y que se enfoque en su vida. Right now I have this fight to focus in front of me. We'll see what happens after this fight. Go ahead, sir. Our question is for Song Yadong. So this is Migu China. Yadong,刚刚你的对手彼得言说,他想要在比赛当中击倒你,想要再摧毁你,你对此有什么回应?So, uh, uh, moments ago, Pure Yen said he's in the fight, he's going to smack you. But what you saw, what kind of technique you want to show to the world, show to the Peter Yen? You know, Peter is tall, but I'm tougher. I'll knock him out on Saturday night. You guys will see. Time will tell. Who was it on mouse? A couple years ago, you fought with Cheeto, and you won a fight. And now he used to become the new challenger for the title. What do you saw about Cheeto's? Hey, Cheeto, it's time to book a fight. Please win the fight and call me out, OK? Focus on your fight first. No, don't, don't try to wipe your eyes before you take a shot. You know ain't winning this. No, I might as well not talk about this. And so, so you are, you are one of the most potential fighters in this world. So anything that you want to say to, you know, to the Miami fans, to the, to the fans around the world. What's up, Miami? I'm coming. Welcome, Kung Fu Monkey Shu. All right, last question right here. Where are you? That was good. Go ahead, ma'am. Is it you? Go ahead. Okay, okay, para Chito. Una sola cosa, Chito. Ya, te hemos visto en algunas peleas. ¿Cómo hacer para volver a lo que hiciste en el 2020? ¿Cómo hacer? ¿Qué hacer con John O'Malley para volver a derrotarlo? El día sábado voy a salir preparado, voy a salir fuerte y le voy a arrancar la cabeza. I prepared, I'm very strong, and I'm going to take his head off. Miami, you're incredible. I can't wait for Saturday night. Thanks for coming out today.